six, a helping hand with your land. All right, guys, Neil from Messick's here. We're out today with a really freak late March snowstorm. Uh, kind of the pits, right? Are really starting to look forward to springtime coming around. Um, but it did give us an opportunity here today to come out and show you uh, how we would recommend using a loader in order to remove snow. Um, I know many of you who are in climates like ours where we get enough snow that you really do need some piece of snow equipment to clear your driveways and your properties, but you may not necessarily need the most insane, you know, heavy duty expensive option out there. So many, many of our customers who are buying tractors are typically buying them with loaders on them uh, for the express purpose that they can clear snow with them, but they're still versatile enough that you're able to use them to do other things all year round, you know, take care of your mulch needs and those kinds of things. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I would use a loader in order to clear snow uh, and show you on two different surfaces because you do it on like a stone or dirt driveway or, or differently than you would on asphalt. So we're gonna come out here to this parking lot. I'm gonna run my tractor probably around half revs. And what I wanna do when I bring my loader over is I'm gonna take my loader bucket, level it out, set the cutting edge down on the surface of the driveway and then float my loader. Now when you float, if not familiar with float, on your loader stick, you wanna push the whole way forward and there's a point where you go from pushing it down, you can see I'm lifting my front tires off the ground, and you're gonna push through a detent. And when you push through that detent, it opens up your boom cylinder and allows your boom to ride up and down with whatever surface you're going across. The really important thing about that is that when you do that, it'll keep the loader from digging up your asphalt. If you take the weight of this tractor and push down on that loader bucket, you could take asphalt off in places and you don't want to do that. If, speaking from experience, uh, we had about a two foot snowfall one time and I thought it would be really cool to use an M7060 to clear the snow off my driveway um, and that was not a good choice. Um, so right now I've got my loader bucket where my, my edge of my loader bucket is tipped down just a little bit. I'm in float and now when I push forward, that cutting edge is going to ride along the asphalt and scrape it clean and take the snow with me. Now we've got about three inches right now, which again, you know, this is the real application for somebody with light snowfalls. Now you can see the further I go, the bigger pile of snow I'm getting in front of my tractor. So the easy way to try to get rid of that, you know, you could pick it and bucket it off, but I'm just gonna build up a big pile in front of myself and just push right off the side. Right, and then we can pick and dump and start to build a pile there. I'm running in medium range. If you wanted a little bit more speed, you could go into high and fly back and forth a little bit more. But this is basically the repetitive motion that you're gonna make over and over again. Just take that bucket, throw it in the float, and push forward with the cutting edge kind of doing the work to scrape off the ice and the slush and everything off your drive. Now you will see places here where I'm leaving a little bit of stuff behind. Um, you can take the tractor and actually put the cutting edge down on the ground and then lift the front wheels up in the air and push like this, but you notice how I'm fighting. I'm, I'm catching stuff, I'm pushing down onto the asphalt. I, and actually, I even dug some spots up right there, you can see. So that's not the way that you would wanna do this. Use that float position and take the weight off of the loader so that you're not pushing down into the ground, right? And then we're just gonna drive forward and sweep right off the side. You do not want to push with your bucket like this. Um, you see here, if I curl my bucket the entire way forward and put it down, this is not a good way to push with a loader bucket. Um, if you have those hydraulic cylinders extended the whole way, and you can think about the torque and the forces that are working on your loader there. So with those things out the whole way and that bucket tipped the whole way around, if you catch something, say a manhole cover or a curb or something like that, it puts a lot of strain on one of those loader bucket cylinders. Um, so you never want to be pushing against stuff with your bucket curled down the entire way.
So you got a pretty significant snowstorm, like 12 inches or 18 inches. Bucketing snow like this isn't the most efficient way to do it. Um, you know, when you can get this pile in front of yourself and sweep it off, uh, long, long shots start to take a lot of work and cleaning up all of the little dribbles that come off the sides of your bucket can take some time. So obviously there's attachments that can do snow more efficiently than this. So with that skid loader coupler on your front loader, uh, they make a really slick, small lamp pride push box. And that, that push box does a great job of you know, keeping the dribbles off the side and collecting this big pile of snow. They also put rubber or plastic edges on the bottom of those push boxes, which is really nice for uh, not marring up the driveway if you're doing this around your home and stuff. You know, commercial parking lots are one thing, but you know, you don't want to mark up your home, your home driveway if you care for your property and stuff. So those push boxes are pretty inexpensive and a nice upgrade over doing it with the bucket. Uh, there's also plows that you can snap onto your front loader or belly plows that can go down underneath the tractor. Uh, you know, being able to angle a plow sideways again helps with the dribbles and stuff that I get coming off the side of my bucket that I don't have to go through and clear, clean up. Um, it just makes it more efficient over than pushing in a straight line like this all the time. So really the loader is the best option for guys, you know, like this snowfall here today where you get that couple of light inches every now and then and just really can't spend, uh, justify spending the additional money for, you know, a real snow implement. to consider if you're just going to be shopping for a tractor, a new cab tractor for use in snow. Uh, things like rear window defrosters, rear wipers, those kinds of things are not standard equipment on all models. Um, I'm going to be 2650 cab here. The cat, Some of these cab versions, they make in a cold climate package, which is what this is, that has the rear window grids on the back. Um, and. Uh, vents up here that I can angle towards my rear windows. But you see over here on my sides, I'm getting a little bit of fogging. No, you gotta go around and point your vents and stuff over at your windows in order to try to keep the moisture and stuff off of them and use your heat in order to do that. Um, but some of those things that you might want, like rear windshield wipers and rear defoggers, are optional on a lot of models, so you wanna keep that in mind. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot when you're out on a day like today to start to plug up these windows and then you can't see what you're doing. We're down to our lower equipment lot here, and I'm gonna push the snow off of this a little bit differently than I did the parking lot. So typically when you do asphalt, you're gonna use that cutting edge in order to scrape it clean, but you don't wanna do that in a stone or dirt area because you're gonna dig the dirt up. So if you watch your bucket level indicator, set your bucket up in a way where your cutting edge is just up off the ground a little bit. And this way when you push forward now, you're gonna skim the snow off the top and hopefully not take up the stones and stuff with it. Again, on these smaller tractors, bucket level indicators are often an option. They're not always standard equipment. Deluxe models tend to have them while standard models don't. So if you think through this scenario, if you're gonna be using your loader tractor to push snow off of your uh, stone driveway, uh, the $100, $150 that the bucket level indicators cost is really money well spent in this particular application. It's gonna keep you from digging all the stone and stuff off of your drive as you're going. give you a quick comparison here of what this looks like if I do it wrong. So if I come up and I take my loader bucket and I put my cutting edge down, you can see here how much dirt and junk I pick up, right? How, yeah, looks good because I'm scraping it clean. Looks like I'm doing a lot more, but look how much dirt and stone and stuff I picked up. So when you come and you set your bucket up on these, this stone, you want to you know, set it down on the ground, put it in float, and curl the bucket edge back a little bit, just so that you get the bucket lip up off the edge of the snow. And you can feel that. If I take the loader bucket and I rock forward a little bit, I can feel the point there, get that shattering of when I'm starting to catch the stone. 
So if you don't have an indicator or you're like me and you're not sure that your indicator is set properly, uh, you can just roll the bucket back a little bit till it comes to the point that it's not chattering so much and just run along and skim the snow off the top. I'm not the first guy through here. Our uh, guys were through here with skid loaders earlier this morning and took most of the snow off of this. So this is what I got for a demo right now. And you see here when I dump, I, I came around and picked up a little bit of stones in the corner, it looks like over there. But for the most part, that snow's a lot cleaner than had I just gone and crashed through the uh, through this with my loader cutting edge on the ground. So that's a real brief run through on using your loader to clear snow. Now, like I said, there's a lot of different implements that you can use to do this, but the loader is the nice one for that flexibility, right? It's a, a year-round implement that you could do all kinds of stuff with. And if you're struggling with where am I gonna spend my money on my implements, well, this is a real versatile one that can do a whole host of jobs. Maybe leaving some of that money available for things like a rototiller or a rear blade or something else that you could do other chores with that the loader can't do. So uh, if you've got any attachment needs for your tractors, you're looking for parts or service for the machines you already got, we're glad to help. Give us a call at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com.